the nicest, nummiest way to start the day. It's so cute and cosy here. The girls are all taking... Probably the only time they hug. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I was just saying it's get a reaction. Um, Isla, Jason, Mila are playing down near the water. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Like I've just left them playing in the water. Chris okay. is down there as well. But they're playing on the sand, throwing rocks into the water. It's super duper cute. Chris has got his drone out. These two are sat in this cozy little cabin. One thing I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do on my Instagram as the videos, the reels that I've started to do. What's we at? The drone. Oh, Daddy's got it. It's in the air somewhere. I'm actually going to do a things I love about Norway because there's so many cute little quirky things here that I absolutely love. Maybe not super duper quirky, but I don't know, it just makes it feel like a really nice place to be. And I absolutely love it. Like, for example, these cabins. Let me try and get a nice shot and show you what I mean. Yeah? Can I take my hat off? Can I take my hat off? Just for a tiny bit. And take my coat on a bit because I'm really hot. Uh, Jace, it's like minus six, mate. How are you hot? Also, have you been digging with your head? Oh, yeah. you got sand on your forehead? You can take your hat off for a bit if you're hot. Here, take it off. That's it. I'll we'll take your hat off. I'll dip it down a tiny bit, but not a lot, okay? Okay. There we go. Is that all right? And, and, and I'd leave your gloves on. But, but my, my hands are really, really hot. Yeah, I know, but you'll, they'll soon get very, very freezing. It's minus temperatures. They'll get really cold, okay? Okay. Good boy. Right, this little hut, look. There's these little huts everywhere with these Dutch ovens so that you can obviously come on over, get warm. There's even candles on the table, which is just so cute. You can use the oven and then someone's obviously used that rack that's just there on the bench. Um, I'm not gonna touch it, but there's also inside it here. I'm not sure what that is, probably another, maybe a recycling bin or something. And then this thing here, there's also like extra things up here. This is full of toys. toys? Yeah, it's got toys in there. I just love it. I know, I just love that this place just feels really like safe. Is that the right word? Safe's probably not the right word I'm looking for. Just, so safe is probably the right word I'm looking for. If this was in the UK, then toys would probably be gone and the Dutch oven had been in someone's back garden. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't all get offended. Don't all come at me. Kind of not joking, but kind of am. But um, yeah, it just feels really nice here and trusting and just really, really lovely. And it's like, not just this. There's other things on this thing where I've been like, gosh, that's really trusting to leave there with that. Where's the drone? You make me nervous. Christmas is so, I hate it when the drone's out. I'm so anxious. And then when I see him looking all over and the drone going beep, beep. Beep, beep, and he's looking over. I'm like, have you lost it? It's like, no, I'm just looking for it. It's coming down. It makes me so nervous because he's obviously got a great track record with drones. Right, JC boy's got some toys out. I need, I need, I need these two. You need them. You're going to do some digging. Yeah. Good. Ah, there she is. She made it back. That's such a cool shot. <laughs> Snow on the mountain caps over there, being lit up by the sun, is just unreal in real life. Obviously, it looks really far away because we've got this wide lens on right now. But what? This place is just absolutely magical. I can't believe the footage I've just taken on the drone of it. It's so beautiful. Everyone needs to be putting Flam on their maps if they're driving through Norway. So the town of Flam is based at the innermost part of the Orleans Fjord, which is what this is behind us here. It's 204 kilometers long and 1,308 meters deep. That is crazy. 
And just round from here in Orleans, Orleans, A U I L A N D S, so Orleans. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologise. You can drive up a mountain pass up to 650 meters high onto the Stegastein viewpoint. We did this last year. I'm definitely not attempting to drive up that in the big van because it was a difficult drive in the sprinter. Um, but it's incredible, and you can look down over this fjord from extreme height, and it looks just unbelievable. So there's some really cool stuff you can do here. There's some popular sightseeing tours that start and finish here on the on the mountain railway that starts in Flam and finishes in Flam. And you can also take a a, a cruise down the fjord from here. Um, I'm not sure if they're running in winter because I haven't seen any cruise boats today or, or yesterday, but they definitely do do them throughout the year. Mila just casually declares she's off to the park on the other side of the bridge. Uh, Mila! No! Come here! Yeah. This, this is typical Ted. Mila, two-year-old little nightmare. Get back here now! Mila Roosevelt! Get back here, go get her! Get her, Jace! <laughs> She's such a little Ted. She's strong-willed, she'll do what she wants and nothing else. <laughs> But well, we've got to leave now, guys. It's gonna be so cool. We're gonna make some good yummy food as well when we get there. Okay. No, hey. Wax. Come on, we got to go back now. Like I'm not too tired. Let's go get in the van, take our coats off, get warm, and get a snack. Sound good? No, I'm too tired. Okay. Mate, I've got news for you, mate. We are. <laughs> Come on. Let's get gone. This bridge is the most beautiful bridge ever. Oh, I love this place. It's so so nice. One thing that amazed me last time we came to Scandinavia that we've just done for the first time this trip is how you're just driving casually down the road and all of a sudden the road just stops and then you're in a queue <laughs> and you think is there traffic and then you start going down and you're actually just rolling onto a ferry <laughs> you don't even realize it's so, random. it's so random you're like what are we waiting for? And they were like, are we in a queue here? Where's the road? And then the road's just gone and you, you're all piling onto a boat. And I remember last time we weren't even sure how we were supposed to pay because like I said, we were just traveling down the road and then all of a sudden we were piling onto a ferry with everyone else. And we're like, well, how do we pay for this? So the next time we got to one, do you remember we stopped and we're like, where's the ticket booth? Yeah. <laughs> like there was some sort of ticket booth somewhere. It was actually not though, it's all done online. And the same thing has just happened now. We're just rolling up, road's gone. So yeah, Chris is just going online now to, is it like a, it's like a thing you have to register isn't it? Yeah. I think you have to just register your car and then when your car's registered or something the cameras take a picture of your reg plate when you get on ferries or something like that. Yeah, I've still it got charges you automatically. Time. You've still got your account from last time, yeah? Yeah. And it just charges you automatically so we all just got out while we sat in this queue, had a bit of a stretch up. I say we all got out, I don't remember we got out of the van, I mean the girls and Jace got out of their seats. And Aurora's not in her seat either at the minute, she's sat with Isla. Um, but yeah, we're all about to get on our first ferry of this trip. Norway's so watery and wet that, that you're just constant, constantly on ferries, aren't you? Yeah, you're I remember right. it from last time, it was so cool. Woo! Wow, what a view! I actually think we might just be going. There's another boat over there, so I think we might just be going over there. I'm not 100% sure though. That would have been a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> been a big bridge. It's probably cheaper just to run ferries. Although you could be right. But um, yeah, kind of cool how to get around through all the fjords and things like that. You have to go on ferries. Oh my gosh, cold out here. Get inside. Yes, We're going to go find a toilet. Ooh. I think most people just tend to stay in their cars because they are obviously not really a novelty. <laughs> when you're getting on them all the time and they're just quite short journeys. But if I remember from last time... Well, they're massive tires. Well, tires. Well, they're big tires. Sorry. Look there. Whoa. <laughs> they're massive. If I remember last time, there is... Wait, it's this way, isn't it, guys? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Some... Some toilet and things. 
Oh yeah. Oh, it's so nice and warm. Oh my gosh, yes. There's like cafes. Look, there's like nice cute seating areas. And you don't expect this. You're right, it's it's cold. <laughs> I was like, don't leave me. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realise you were coming. We have a look there. We'll have a look now if you want. There's like a little cafes and things. It's lovely. <laughs> it's really so cool. Cute. It is really cute. Are we moving? I feel like we're moving. I feel like... Yeah. Rah. Right, let's go use the toilet. That is not me. As well said, why I'm having an ugly day. Ugums, a day of the ugums. I'm having a day of the ugums. I don't look I'm having me. a day of the ugums. I have flat and horrible. I'm having a day of the cute ums. <laughs> Look how fast we're going. We're going a bit fast. That's really fast. Whoa, why does it make me feel really dizzy? That's so quick. It's faster than an armpit. That's really quick, isn't it? Right, let's test the road going. Oh, yeah, we're going to wait here now. In the least we're going to be here. Oh, let's run. Esme? Yeah? Not plans to get dressed today, lovey? No. <laughs> Best way. Keep on the onesie. I was right. It was just that quick hop over. We'll be there in a few minutes. Wow, so we just stopped for a, a planned Aurora feed stop. So I was just feeding Aurora in the van. And we couldn't have stopped at a more perfect place for this because it's the most beautiful fjord town I think I've ever seen. And it's just, <sighs> I just flew the drone around in so you'll be able to see like how actually beautiful it is because the footage was unbelievable. But just look at this place. You're probably going to be watching the drone footage right now rather than me just chatting and swinging the camera around because it's so gorgeous. But I just can't, I can't even begin to explain how, even when you look at the video that we've just took, right, it, it's amazing. Like it is amazing, the video, but you cannot imagine what it looks like in real life with your eyes. When you get the scale, right, of how actually enormous the mountains are, you can't tell that from a camera video. But when you stood at the bottom of them and you can see actually how massively humongous they are, these they're just so big that your brain doesn't compute it properly and it's kind of like just it's just like a massive explosion of your senses in your head it just is crazy that you have to if you can everyone has to see this once in their lifetime Norway I would bet my bottom dollar that there is not a singular other place on earth that is more beautiful than Norway in winter I would hands down put money on that because it just is so beautiful all three Scandinavia countries are all totally, totally different from each other. Norway's all about the dramatic scenery that blows your mind out of your skull. And that's what this is doing every turn. Like you go into a, you go into a tunnel through a mountain. Like you're passing literally under, under the ground through a mountain. And you pop out into Narnia like this. You pop out into a town like this. And then you go back into another mountain and you pop out like of another rabbit hole into another Narnia. That's what it's like, that's what Norway's like all the way up. In and out of mountains, in and out of different Narnias. It's insane. <sighs> anyway, we've got an hour left before we get to our destination for tomorrow. Because we're doing something that's pretty spectacular tomorrow. It looks pretty spectacular anyway. Um, so we're going to stop very soon. And we're making a special little outdoor dinner tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. We're getting the Dutch oven out, all the tripod and the fire and all that. And we're going to make a real nice little wild camping goulash 
type of effort. So uh, let's get back on the road. And welcome to home for the night, a beautiful little park for night recommendation. So it's very quiet. It's kind of like a big coach park behind a shopping center. It's not a thing we're staying in tonight at the bottom of a big fjord, which is very beautiful. So tonight we're dining, al we're not dining al fresco, we're cooking al fresco in the Dutch oven. Although because we're in like a kind of like a town and um, like a, a coach car park type of thing with shopping center and stuff, I don't, we were gonna get the tripod out and the fire pit and stuff and cook on the Dutch oven with the tripod. But I think that might be a bit frowned upon in this place. So we're just gonna do it on the grill. We're gonna cook the Dutch oven on the actual gas hob outside tonight. So I mean, Sarah, we're gonna whip up a little storm, our fresco style. Sarah's busy right now preparing all the veggies and whatnot. How's it going, babe? All good? Yeah, all good. Oh. Shut the door, it's so freaking <laughs> It is Billy Baltic you right can, now. You can stand out there with this, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first things first, let's get my coat on. Now you're talking. I've got snow on my seat. I don't really fancy getting an after wrench the bottom. Oh my God, it's actually frozen. The snow has actually frozen solid. how cold it is guys the snow has frozen solid ice on the seat it's a cold one tonight but do you know what <laughs> half of you lot sat at home hopefully toasty and warm are probably thinking I've lost the plot when I say this oh my gosh is my zip frozen if you get the tiniest bit of water or anything on anything it just freezes instantly but yeah, 90% of you guys are probably going to think I've lost the plot, but you can't beat this. <laughs> a bit of outdoor cooking in minus plumbing. I don't even know what, but it's definitely in the minuses. I might have to put some gloves on me now. Right. I prepared all the veggies. And now I'm going to brown this. I'm not 100% sure what this is. But sure. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Um... It was with the meatballs, but it looks more like a patty, like a burger patty. So I think it's like a burger meatball, <laughs> or just a burger, or just a flat meatball. Either way, it's pork. So I'm gonna brown this off, and then I'm kinda gonna, depending on how it browns, I'm either gonna chop it up, or I'm gonna just mush it, because I don't really want it to be like burger form. Let me open one and show you. Okay, this smells like an Ikea meatball, but it looks like a Five Guys burger. Oh, that smells so good. Right, I don't want it to be in that form. I want it, where's the back of whites? I want it to be in like, you know, a mush. It's going in a stew, you know? I want it to be like mushed in the stew. The pan's just warming up and the gloves are coming out because my fingers actually feel like they might drop off. <gasps> still cook with these on because it's kind of like this. I might even put a few hand warmers in here to keep my keep me toasty and warm when I'm not needing to use them. <laughs> this is so fun. This is an adventure. This is what this is all about. It's doing things out of your comfort zone. It's coming outside to cook when really I could do this in the van on the oven on the on the hob sorry. But where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? I could do that at home. And I'm not at home right now. I'm in the middle of Norway. <laughs> and I'm making the most of it. Got them sizzling away nicely. Okay, you can't really see because <laughs> the camera's steaming up. But I just added, nope, can't see a thing, can you? <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh. Nope, still can't see a thing. Anyway, added some, added some leftover hot dogs. And now I'm gonna put some chicken stock in, some beans, some tomatoes, and all the veggies I've chopped up before. Pop the lid on, and then leave that to sizzle away. There we go, looking good. This was like a mad idea in our heads, but actually it's turning out probably boss. We've got beans in, tomato puree in, loads of chopped tomatoes, onions, potatoes. 
It's Thanks. looking, boss. We're going to add some more carrot and mushrooms I too. Put the carrots in. Put the carrots in because they're right, going to take ages. Okay, everything's in. It's looking good. Oops, a bit much mirrors over there. It's all good. Bit of smoked paprika, bit of garlic and herbs, and then I think we're almost ready to give it a mix. Put the lid on and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> and now we wait. I'm hoping it doesn't take longer than like 30, 40 minutes. Fingers crossed. It smells so good. Also, we're packed up at a motorhome hookup right now. There's actually electricity, but it's just off the road. It's like in like a supermarket type of car park. Not actually a supermarket car park, but just a really random hookup on the main road. So there's cars constantly driving past, probably looking at me thinking, what is that moron doing right now? <laughs> but it is a motorhome parking <laughs> but spot. It's actually a motorhome parking spot. But um, this is really cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like it, man. It's cool. It feels good. It's got a good vibe. It's got. <laughs> it just feels really funny because it's so cold. But we're just sat out here cooking dinner when we could be doing it inside, but we're not because you know why? Why? We're on holiday, do it. All. <laughs> you got to do. You got wild it, haven't you? This is wild. Isn't wild it? it. I've got um, what they called the camera's not even working properly. It's like slow mo. It's like lagging. But I've got um, hand warmers in my gloves, so I'm toasting up now. Oh, oh, now the smell coming out of that, you would not believe how good it smells. It's unbelievable. Right, let's give it a stir then, man. Oh, that is looking good. Camera steam. Oh, wow. It's had an hour now. So I'm just going to chop our tatey out. See what the taties are tasting like. And we'll see if we're ready. Give me thermal gloves on for opening that because it's very, very hot. Ooh, we'll let that cool down a second. Give that a taste, see what it tastes like. Dinner is served. Jason and me are already eating. This tastes and smells <laughs> so good. That was the nicest dinner. Not that I've ever had in my whole life. That was really so, well done, it was so tasty. My mouth's on fire and we've got leftovers for tomorrow, so. Sweetie, go sit down with it. I'm happy about that. I'm not gonna lie, my toes are still thawing out from that. <laughs> I didn't have socks on. That was a bit of a stupid mistake, but it was so delicious. And I'm so glad that I did actually go out there and do it because I just feel like it just added to the whole vibe of the meal Excellent. anyway tomorrow is there a smudge on the camera probably probably it's always a smudge on it tomorrow we're doing something really cool and it's something before anybody says oh it'll probably be like i don't know snowmobile again it's something we've never seen before in real life or done before never done before Never done before, never seen before. So I'm really, really excited. We've driven most of the way here. We've probably got an hour to drive in the morning, have we? Half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> yeah, we're close. So we're quite close by. It's going to be such a cool... I, literally. <laughs> I, I am really excited to go and do it. I can't wait. This trip has already been epic. And I can't wait to continue. I forgot to vlog this yesterday, but I actually saw a couple of meese. On the drive? Uh, a yeah. meese, yeah, so some mice, a mouse, a mouse on the drive. No, meese. Yeah, some meese, yeah. Meese, yeah. Meese, meese, like geese. Do you mean the moose? You know, goose, I mean, moose. moose. No, goose, moose, right. geese, yeah, yeah. niece. No, I'm pretty sure moose, plural, isn't meese. <laughs> a mouse. Why did you up your muppet? Because <laughs> it's face then. <laughs> it's my zipper, uh, but oh I'm my gosh, my zip's so about exposing I'm myself. I just fed her aura. I was joking. Me and I was so joking I about yesterday. Mice crossing the road. Wow. <laughs> I said I saw two moose yesterday, but we and I were saying if gee, if goose and moose, and plural for goose is geese, why is plural for moose not meese? I was just saying it's so a joke. Pretty sure it's just mooses. <laughs> it's not mooses. It's not two mooses. Mooses. There's <laughs> <laughs> not two moose. It's just moose. I think. Anyway, I saw two yesterday, and they were flipping huge. And the reason only I saw him is because it was dark. I was looking out the window, Chris was driving. Anyway, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Make sure you come back tomorrow because it is definitely going to be an epic day. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mwah.